Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. For today's video, we are gonna unbox the Diptyque Advent Calendar. I cannot even tell you how excited I am. I got my first Diptyque calendar a few months ago and it was life-changing. <laughs> you guys, it is the strongest scent I have ever had in a candle. It is so strong. Just the teeniest candle filled up almost the whole entire house. It was that strong. And I've only had one. So when I saw that the Diptyque Advent Calendar had numerous candles in it of all sorts of different scents, I thought it was the perfect, perfect Advent Calendar so that I could kind of dip my feet into Diptyque and see what scents I really liked. So here is the Advent Calendar. It is really, really large. Um, so we're going to open it. We're going to unbox it. I am going to do my best to describe these scents to you. Um, I think I'm probably the worst at describing notes and scents, but I'm going to give it my best shot. I'll tell you, I'll smell it. And at least I'll tell you if I like it or not, what it actually smells like. I don't know. I do have my computer with me. So if I need to look up the exact notes, Hopefully I can give you a little bit more information. But first I wanna show you how this calendar opens. I'm gonna try my best. So it does have a little, um, like a little tab there so you can pull. And it is magnetic and then it pulls open. And then there's the inside, but that's not all. It then, this is really complicated, or hard to do. <laughs> so then it pulls out like this. It's really, really a very cool design. I'm really excited to open it. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it behind me and then I'll just pull from that because I won't be able to open it fully on my desk. So here is box number one. It did take a while for me to find it and the number is right down here in the corner. Open it up and you do have a candle. So this is about the size of a Voda, 35 grams. So this is Faux de Bois. It smells like fire, like a wood fire is how I would describe it. I'm not certain this is a candle that I would like. I tend to like more floral scents but that is what the day one is. Here's day two, and this is an Eau de Parfum in Eau Rose. I'm gonna open it so I can see what size they give you. Oh, wow, they give you a really nice size. I was expecting like the little travel sizes, but this is a really good size. It 10 milliliters, so that's really a decent size. And this is the one candle that I have this, uh, that I have. These are really hard to find. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna lie, it, it took a while. So here is day number three. And I should add that this is a 25 day advent calendar. And it is another candle, 35 grams. This is, I'm gonna totally butcher the name, Figury. Don't come at me, I really don't know how to say it, but to me, it smells very tropical. The Website says that this is a fig tree candle. I don't know, it smells really tropical and I really, really like this one. Day four, this is another candle. Ooh, this looks pretty. This is Niege. This is one of the holiday candles. So this is a limited edition candle and it says it's a snow candle. It is described as a beautiful midnight blue, diffuses a soft harmony, of helotrope and white musk in a cosmic shimmer. A powdery delicacy of snow enhance your winter nights. I do kind of get that powder scent. I do like that they have their uh, holiday limited edition candles in this calendar. Day number five. This is a perfumed soap in the shade Dosen. Mm, that smells really, really good. So this is just a deluxe sample size. The full size is 150 grams and this is 25 grams. And this is a scented soap composed of plant-based enriched with sweet almond oil. Mm, yes, I really, really like that. Day number six, have a, another little perfume 
and this is in scent Tamdo. I don't know that I like this scent. It is described as a memory from the holy forest of Indochina, this velvety, milky scent of sandalwood burned in temples. Yeah, this probably is not my favorite scent. And this is exactly why I got the, this advent calendar, is I don't know what I like versus what I don't like. So now I get to sample a wide variety of scents to see what I like. Here is day seven. This is another candle. And this is in scent Cannonelle, I think, or Cannelle. It is described as the cinnamon candle. I don't pick up the cinnamon when I smell it. It says cinnamon bark freshly stripped from the tree branches. It has kept the captivating sense of its land of origin, India, and its accents at times woody and spicy, and at others warm and gourmand. This is one of the very first diptyque candles. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know that this is a scent that I would burn regularly. And I don't really pick up on the cinnamon. Day number eight, another candle. And this is the Noisa Terre. I don't know. This is the Hazel Tree Candle. It's a little bit floral, a little bit... I want to say almost... I even want to say vanilla. The hazelnut tree at the heart of a forest, the fruits still on the tree, its hazelnut shells nestled in their pericarp. Its fragrance has retained the freshness of green leaves and delicately crunchy praline notes of hazelnuts on the cusp of ripening. I don't know. It smells good. I do like it, but I'm not really picking up <laughs> how they're describing it. Number nine, this is another Eau de Parfum. This is one of their best sellers. It is called Orpheon. And it says that there is curls of tobacco smoke mingle with powdery trails of blusher lingering on burnished wood. This is probably not something that I'm going to like. It's, it's better than I expected. I was expecting something really, really tobacco-y. It's not. I don't know that I would wear this. We'll see. I'll give it a try. I'll try it because you know sometimes you put a fragrance on and it reacts differently with your body and your pH so I will try it I just don't know that'll be my favorite day number 10 this is a decorative ball so I'm not sure I'm not sure if these all go together I don't know I will have to follow the instructions to find out exactly what this is but there is instructions Instructions for rotating your diptyque decorative ball. So I will put this together. I will see what exactly it is because I'm not really certain. And I don't know if this is something that is sold um, by itself or if this is strictly like um, exclusive to the advent calendar. Day number 11, we have another Eau de Parfum Fleur de Pio. And I don't know if I can spray it right now because I have all these other scents going around. This is also listed as a bestseller on their website. It says highlighted with iris and amberette seed to reveal the full tactical dimension. I will try this. I just, I can't spray it right now because I've already sprayed two other of these perfumes and the scents do linger. They, they definitely stay. I will say that about the Diptyque scents is they are powerful. Day number 12, this is a solid parfum. Oh, it smells really nice. And I do believe that this is full size and it is $68. And it has the scents of fig leaves, fig tree sap, fig tree wood, and black pepper. So I did really like that fig candle. And then this does smell a lot like that. So this is really nice. Day 13, we have another candle, and this is Roses, and this is the candle that I have, and I know that I love it. Oh, it smells so good. And it does, in fact, smell like roses. Day 14, we have another Eau de Parfum, Eau Capital, and the notes are Rose, Bergamot, and Patchouli. And I have a feeling I will really like this, so I'm excited to try this and give it a spray. 
day 15 is another candle. I'm guessing this is the other holiday one. So this is the second of the new limited edition holiday candles. It says that it blends the smell of wood fire with the delicious notes of coffee and chocolate. I can see that. I can see that. I am very excited to try this and have it going around the holiday season. Um, it does smell really nice. So that was day 15. Day 16 is another candle. This is tuberose. This is a white flower. I think it's supposed to smell like the tuberose flower. I do really like this one. This is a really floral, you know, nice fresh scent. Day 17. And now we have an eau de toilette. Eau de scents is orange blossom, angelic root, and patchouli with juniper berry. I think that sounds floral. I think I might like that. Or maybe a little fruity. I like fruity. I like floral. Day 18. Another candle. And this is one of the most popular ones I've seen around. Um, Bayes. This is a berry candle. It smells really, really good. This might be my favorite one that I have smelled so far. Day 19. We have another eau de toilette. And this, I believe, is a scent that we already had, but now we have the eau de toilette. Day 20, another candle, and this is amber. This is very, very woodsy. Not, not my scent at all. But I do think that this is one of their best sellers. I know a lot of people do really enjoy that woodsy smell. It's just not for me. Day 21, another candle, and this is Tay. Yeah, that's really spicy. It smells spicy. Let me see what the notes are. It is cumin, coriander, pepper, and this again was one of the first three of the diptyque candles. Yeah, I mean it is spicy. It's like got a strong spice smell. Day 22, another eau de toilette, and this is also another scent that we had the eau de perfume on. This is Dosan. Day 23, we are almost done you guys, and we have another candle but this is the same one. This is, I must have opened the wrong one before because this is amber and I don't think we would have gotten two. I will go back through when I edit to see what I missed and if I did open the wrong one, I will put down below what I should have gotten because I don't think that they would give us two of the same. So I'm guessing I picked up the wrong box the last time. Day 24, and this is a body balm, and this is a uh, one of the perfumes that we already had. And that's what that looks like. I just wanna try it, you know, just to see how it feels. Oh, it feels really good. The scent is very light. Like it's not overpowering, which I do really like. All right, so that was day 24. Now we'll be ready for the very last one, day 25. And day 25 is the biggest box in there. Do get a full size of the last limited edition holiday candle. I like this one a lot. I really, really like this one. This is the pine tree candle. And this is full size and this alone retails for $48. Yeah, I really like that. All right, so that was the Diptyque Advent Calendar. I'm gonna go back through and give you just a little bit more details, and then we'll talk about my opinion and if I think it's worth it. It does say that this year is the first time that they have included all three of the limited edition Christmas scents. So you get one of the full-size limited edition holiday candles in the 70 grams. You get two of the uh, 35 grams of the Christmas limited edition or the holiday limited edition candles. You get 10 iconic scented candles um, in the 35 grams. You get five travel size eau de parfums, three travel size eau de toilette, two scented gestures, meaning the solid perfume as well as the body balm. You get one scented soap and you get three limited edition holiday decorations. So I guess that ball thing was three individual ones, not one that I have to put together. So this retails for $480. And I don't know, it doesn't say like what the value is supposed to be. However, 
I do think it is worth it. I really, really do. I know <laughs> that with any advent calendar I get, there's going to be products in there that I'm not going to use. I felt that with the candles, I'm going to, I'm going to use those. We go through so many candles in the house. Even if it's a scent that I don't like, I'll still burn it just to have some scent in the house. So I do think that I'm going to get my value of it. Just knowing how much the dipped heat candles cost on a, you know, just regularly, as well as the perfumes and the eau de toilettes, I think I got my money's worth. I'm really, really excited to have it. This is the first year that I have gotten this. And again, like I said, I just recently, just recently got my very first dip tea candle and I was blown away. So I am really, really excited to have this. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think you will pick this up? Do you think it's worth it? This is definitely the priciest advent calendar I have ever bought, ever. Um, but it's something that I'm going to use. I am going to burn candles. That's just a given. Like we go through so many candles. Um, so I know that I'm going to use it. I know I'm going to get my money's worth. Not to mention, it's just beautiful. It is so, so beautiful. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and I will see you in my next video.